please subscribe. The Faraday Future story, since its beginning, has been almost cinematically crafted for increased drama. An upstart challenger to the Tesla throne. Millionaires running out of money. Fast, sexy, electric concept cars. And, of course, workplace issues. Tonight, though, the prologue came to a close with the unveiling of the FF91 Nazis 2017 in Las Vegas. The FF91 is an impressive beast on paper. It will have 200 kilowatt fast charging capability, which Vice President of Propulsion Engineering, Pete Savagen, formerly of GM, says will get drivers 500 miles of range per hour of charge. The FF91 will have a 130 kilowatt hour battery pack that should give the FF91 an EPA range of 378 miles. But probably not if you use the car's 1050 horsepower, 783 kilowatts, at all times. Nick Sampson. FFS Senior Vice President of R&D and Engineering, opened the show with a monologue on Faraday's tremendous optimism. He said FF is multifaceted disruption that will reformat the auto industry. This means the company will have things like the fit, your personal Faraday Future ID, which will allow you to transfer profile settings from vehicle to vehicle. That way, no matter which FF91 you sit down in, it'll feel like yours. All of this data will said that you will grow to trust your Faraday car, because it will learn about you without intruding into your drive, and because FF will keep your data safe. If that all sounds good, you can sign up and reserve an FF91 right now over at the Faraday Future website. Price. Nothing yet about the final cost, but you can sign up for a standard reservation for free or pay $5,000 for a priority reservation that will let you get one of 300 personalized Alliance Edition FF91S when they launch in Spring 2018. Some of that $5,000 will be donated to an environmental protection fund to be named later. Priced like a premium vehicle. The Las Vegas event was completely devoid of any of the negativity or drama that has been swirling around Faraday Future in the recent past, except when an FF91 on stage didn't self-park despite the Eco founder and CEO Gia's attempt to get it to do so. Le Eco is the money behind FF. Instead, the focus was on the car, and the company's hopes for tomorrow. The message tonight was clear, and the company's name defined the setting, FF is indeed looking to the future. Please subscribe.